Wow. Well, this has been a year. But next year is going to be a great year. We're in the year on the Hebraic calendar of 5782. And the way that the, uh, the Hebraic language works is that you can literally read what the year says. So 5700 reads, may it be the year of. 80 is the word pay, and pay is a picture of a mouth. It means breath and speech. It means declaring. It means releasing uh, the words. It's a picture of a mouth. Uh, and then we are now in the year of 5782, which is the year of pay bet. And bet is the second letter. And the picture of bet is a house. And it means uh, dwelling place. It uh, means shelter, protection, security. And so we are in a year that we are to speak out of the house of God with strength and with power. This is a year that, that we are going to need to uh, speak up and speak out and not hold back. It's going to be a year where the focus is going to be on communications. And our communication cannot be silenced because it's going to be pivotal for the church this year to begin to declare its positioning in the earth. And so it's a very strategic year, 2022. It's, it's very important that we all commit to be those that will not be silent because the enemy wants to silence the church. And the war will be to silence the church. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So we want to be those that speak and that speak boldly for him because your words, the words you speak have power. The words that, the decrees that you make have power. Uh, it's time to make faith declarations and to walk in kingdom authority. And one of the scriptures that I felt the Lord gave me was Jeremiah 51 20. And he was speaking it in, in the context that he gave it to me, to his church. And that scripture reads, you are my war club, my weapon for battle. With you, I will shatter nations, and with you, I will destroy kingdoms. It is a time that God wants his voice, he wants his church to speak and to move forward. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and the joints of mar and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Psalms 145, 10 through 12 says, All your works shall praise you, O Lord, and your saints shall bless you. They will speak of your, the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men his mighty works and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. These are scriptures we need to take to heart this year. Next week, we're going to have our Ascend service, which is the service where we deliver the word of the Lord for the year. And we've got uh, several prophets I will be speaking, but Prophet Blake Morris will be delivering the word of the Lord, as well as Pastor Taurus Solomon from All Nations Worship Assembly is flying in to deliver the word uh, for our city, for us, and for the church. So I want to encourage you to, to be a part of that service next Friday night at 730. So... 
that was just a little bit of a, a tease, I guess, about where we're headed this year. But it is going to be important that we make a commitment to be bold and courageous. Look at somebody say, be bold, be bold. and courageous. Because God is with us. Amen. Do you believe that? He is with us. He is for us. And there is nothing that gives God greater pleasure than to see his church begin to arise in power, in glory, and in the, the, the identity of who we are called to be. Amen. All right, well, I'm not going to belabor today. What I'm going to do is uh, there are several things that I'd like to do before we break up into uh, the teams. Um, but how many of you want to enter 2022 just cleansed, ready, pure-hearted, just having our, ourselves prepared for that? Well, what I would like to do is I'd like to lead us in a cleansing prayer, all right, so that we can let go of those things that maybe have, have been on us. And then I want us to make some declarations together for the coming year. And then I just want to pray a blessing over you for the coming year. Will that be all right? Okay. Okay, for those five that clapped. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to just lead you, but this is really between you and the Lord. So if you need to change the words, just change them. But let's just bow our hearts now and repeat after me. Lord, I ask you to forgive me. For those things I did this year that displeased you, drew my heart away from you, and caused me to focus on pursuits and activities which were not your best or your highest for me. I renounce and repent of all sin, works of darkness, grief, unforgiveness, bitterness, judgments, double-mindedness and divisions, offenses and curses working in me or against me. Forgive me, Lord. I choose to forgive myself also and to walk into 2022 a pure and a clean vessel. I receive your forgiveness and your cleansing now in Jesus name. I just let him wash over you. Father, just wash, cleanse, purify. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now let's stand and we're going to make some declarations over this coming year. And let's say this with purpose, with confidence and conviction. I declare, I declare that I will align myself and my heart, my mind, my actions and my passions 
with the plumb line of the Lord. I will be accountable this year. I declare that this will be a year that I purpose to grow in my relationship and intimacy with Jesus. I will seek to do what pleases Him and that is my goal to please Him in all that I do. I will speak loudly for Him and walk boldly and victoriously through every door he opens for me. I will co-labor with God's angelic forces to successfully war through all opposition against my advancement and that of his church. I declare that my purpose my focus and my gifts will arise and be used this year. I declare that with his leading, I will prosper this year and be a faithful steward of all that he gives me. I will be a light this year. And I declare that as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord with our whole hearts in 2022. If you mean that, let's give him some praise. Thank you, Lord. Now, I just want to speak a blessing over you. You know, there is power in blessing. And I just want to speak it. So just get into receive mode and receive. Because I believe this is a blessing from the Lord. I declare that your sins are forgiven and you are cleansed by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, God's Son. I bless you with your lives being full of joy, which will be your strength in 2022. I bless you with the joy that comes from experiencing the presence of God every day throughout the coming year. I bless you with his shalom, his perfect peace, his perfect protection, provision, security, love, health, and unity. I bless you with favor with man and favor with God. I bless you in your endeavors, your labors, your enterprises, and your finances. I bless you in your travels, both coming in and going out. I bless your homes. I declare the peace of God will rest upon your homes and your families. Great shall be the peace of your children. I bless your generations. They shall be called of the Lord and walk holy in the knowledge of him. I bless each of you with fullness of joy in the night watches as the Spirit of God ministers to your spirit. I bless you with the knowledge of your Heavenly Father and I release the spirit of adoption to be ever present with you this year. I bless you with remembering times he showed you his Father's heart. I bless your destiny. I bless your calling. I bless your dreams. I I declare the enemy shall no longer rob you of your dreams. I bless you with enlarging your spirit to know profoundly and deeply that your father is pleased with you. I bless you with receiving the truth of your identity, your legitimacy, your birthright, and your inheritance. I bless you with knowing who you are in your father's eyes and receiving deeply of the joy he has in who you are. I bless you in experiencing the joy that your father has when your spirit rises up and responds to his spirit.
I bless you with feeling the joy he has as he plans out your future with all the blessings he has prepared, the surprises, the divine encounters, the unexpected treasures he has prepared for you. I bless you with not being dependent upon or afraid of circumstances or men, but totally trusting in your heavenly father and his care for you. I bless you with overflowing blessings and a generous spirit. I bless you with peace that can only come because the Prince of Peace rules you. I bless you with an anointing of wisdom, discernment, and power. Regardless of what comes to you this year, you will be led forth in peace by his spirit. I bless you with being known as someone who carries the glory and the presence of God with you everywhere you go so that people will seek you out because they are so desperate for his presence. I bless you child of God with all spiritual blessings health and every blessing of the covenant Christ purchased for you and I declare that you shall walk in and receive every blessing proclaimed tonight in Jesus name throughout 2022 if you receive that say Lord I receive it in Jesus name and we give you praise and honor, Lord. We give you praise and honor. You may be seated.